waterfall model. The waterfall model is one of the simplest and easy way to make a linear sequential life cycle model. With the help of that approach, we can use for software development. The waterfall approach with SDLC, that's the software development life cycle, is widely used for the software development field. The waterfall approach is the whole process of software development in terms of phases. So the outcome of one phase acts as input from the next phase sequentially. The following diagrammatic representation are the different phases of the waterfall model. There are six phases. First one is the requirement analysis, design, implementation, testing, deployment and maintenance. These are the six of them. And here we are going to see how the software is developed in an organization with all these six phases. And once when, come, once when it comes to the last phase, we are going to see how the software is going to be completely implemented. So here, let us see the first one is the requirement analysis. So in this requirement analysis, the customer gives few informations or some specifications to the organization to develop a software. So various informations or various analysis are being done by getting few uh, few documents and few requirement specifications from the user in order to discuss and to analyze. The second one is the system design. Here in this design, with the help of the first phase, the first requirement phase, we are going to prepare a form of specifying how many are uh, the hardware and software requirements to make this software developed. So here there's going to be a discussion to design how the software is going to be uh, made with how many what are the additional softwares or additional hardware informations that need to be uh, needed for developing a software that is discussed in the second phase and the third one is the implementation with the help of the required informations and the system design we are going to develop a small programs called units and here the units are developed and tested functionally with the employees of the organization made referred as a unit testing where all the discussions and all the system designs are being implemented and made into a small program to make a software it is an initial step where the software is developed with the help of coding and testing and the fourth one is testing here while making the use of the implementation above a various forms of testing are being done here to uh, to get the false as well as the failures so various scenarios or various programs are being tested here so that uh, the implementation of the software is completely make sure that there is no fault or failure here and the fifth one is deployment in the deployment of system the functions and non-functions testings are completely done towards the product to make the customer's environment or it is released into the market so all the testing part is completed here and it's real time implemented in the market to make sure that the software is almost ready and completely it's ready to use so that's what deployment means the customer environment and released into the market and the last one is the maintenance the sixth one here there might be some issues from the customer side there he might need a future enhancement or some more development that need to be done towards the software that can be done in this maintenance uh, area so here sometimes a issue can be fixed or can be overcome from failures or faults or it can also be an upgradation process by the customer's need. So these are the important phases 
that's the requirement design implementation testing deployment and maintenance are the complete six phases that are very important to develop a software advantages of waterfall development is that it allows the control of all the phases in a sequential order and also it is it is done within the deadline the process and the development of the product is completely done within the deadline and in phases of one by one and development makes a move with all the six phases that's the design implementation testing installing troubleshooting and ends up the operation completely towards maintenance so all the development procedure is done in a strict order disadvantages of waterfall development is that it do not allow to reflection for the refle reflection and revision because once when all the phases is completed step by step it's very difficult to go back and start from the initial stage that's the reason this is a kind of sequential order that comes in stage by stage so that there should be no fault or no failures should happen in this process so, so this is all about the waterfall model.